Good morning everyone. In our last class, we discussed about the types of software. Do you remember what are the types of software? Yes, there are two types of software. One is application software, the other is system software. Windows is an example of the system software. In today's topic, we learn about the introduction to the operating system, MS Windows, Windows 7 desktop and its icon. The computer is made up of different parts and does different kinds of work at a time. Operating system is a manager of the computer. Operating system is a software that operates the computer through its various function. Let us imagine our home. Our parents maintains all the activities at our home. They also manages our homework, our classwork and all the activities of us in our school. Likewise, the operating system controls and manages all the activities that is provided to the computer. They control the different parts of the computer and help, helps them to manage the process. Operating system is a software that operates the computer through its various functions. It means all the functions given to the computer will be managed and operated by the operating system. Look at here. We could see a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, a CPU, printer and the applications. All the hardware and the software parts of the computer are controlled and managed by the operating system. It acts as an interface between the user and the computer. When the user gives command to the computer, the operating system operates and delivers the result through the output. Therefore, the operating system is an interface between the user and the computer. Look at here. Windows 7 acts as an operating system in this picture. Now let us discuss about the MS Windows. MS Windows is the most popular system software in the world. It is made by a company named Microsoft Corporation USA. Windows is a user friendly operating system which allows the user to install program and software on the computer system. Do you remember which type of software can be installed? Yes, it is the application software. Application software can be installed in the computer. Windows is a type of software which can be categorized as both the application software and the system software. I hope you remember the application software and the system software taken in your last class. When we switch on the computer, the operating system gets loaded into the computer's memory. This process is called booting. Look at here. You can see a starting Windows screen. This Windows screen can be seen in the computer when we switch on the computer. What happens when we switch on the computer? When we switch on the computer, the operating system is loaded into the computer. And this process is called booting. This is the first and the foremost process that takes place when we switch on the computer. The Windows screen will be like this starting windows 
you can see the company's name Microsoft Corporation that is a company which created Windows now let us see the features of the MS Windows the first feature is it is very easy to use it uses graphical user interface graphical user interface means it uses many picture format why they use many picture format because the users that that is we can easily understand the pic picture format the programs are arranged in different files and folders it has icons to do different things quickly these are the latest versions of the windows operating system windows 98 windows 2000 windows xp and windows vista these are the representing symbols of this operating system the latest version is windows 8 operating system let us move on to Windows 7 desktop. Look at here. Once the booting is over, you can see the desktop screen in this way. You can see a desktop background. You can see some icons. You can see some start button. You can see a taskbar. These are the things that you see after booting when you see the screen it means that the booting is completed and the windows is ready to work these are called the desktop items you can see some picture in the screen these pictures are easily identified there are small pictures on the desktop screen which represents file folders programs and other items these pictures are called icons let us see more about the icons when you want to select an icon you have to place the mouse pointer on that specific icon and double click the mouse You can move the mouse pointer to the icon to which you want to work and double click on it. For example, you can see an Internet Explorer icon on the screen. When you move the icon to the Internet Explorer icon, you can double click it. Then it is opened and you can use it for your further functions. Likewise, you can select an icon in the windows. If you want to deselect an icon, you can take the mouse pointer away from that icon and double click. Then you will leave the icon. When you select the icon, the color of the icon changes. changes. And when you deselect also, the color of the icon changes. Likewise, you will identify whether the icon is selected or deselected. How to sort icons? It is very simple and easy to sort icons. You can take the mouse and you have to right click and you have to select the option sort by. Then you can select what all categories you need that is name size item or data modified what you want you can select and then say click it okay now how you will hide this desktop icons in the same way you can right click the view and then select it. 
by right clicking you can select the view button and then click on to show desktop icons in that way you can show the desktop icons